and welcome back to Minecraft episode 219. Oh yeah. In the last episode, we found this dungeon after exploring a little bit in the middle of the night. And now it's time to eradicate it and steal its loot. Because there is a crap ton of zombies and stuff down here. I see two skeletons. I'm pretty sure it's a zombie dungeon though. Oh, there's a creeper. We got all the mobs partying down here. Why wasn't I invited? I don't know. Who knows? And six days. No, seven days. Until Pandora is out. Ooh, I was hoping that creeper would blow up that spawner, but then maybe I wouldn't get the loot. So we're just not gonna go there. Alright, so we gotta get rid of this. Put down the torch. Oh, can't do that, because this zombie wants to sell me something. Such as death. Try to oust this spawner while I'm at it. Seven days, man. That's it. One week. And it's here. Are you excited? I know I am. Oh, this was accessible from there. Oh, I see. Well, I trolled myself. Took the hard way. Well, we only got one chest in this one, so let's see what's in here. Looks like some more gunpowder, wheat, bread, awesomeness, iron, and a bucket. For once, no saddles. Thank God there were no saddles. I, I'm going to have to make a chest just for that, right? Jeepers. Enough with the saddles already. I think I have seven saddles in a chest. That's average of one per dungeon. Just, it's crazy. But this was kind of a small dungeon, too, so what do you expect? I got a little trolled there, but the last time I found a double chest, so I can't complain. I'm hearing more uh, sounds, though. I wonder if... I guess they're on the surface because of the night time. And I don't see any numbers down below. Could be useful for finding caves. I'm trying to think. There was a comment on the, the Pandora teaser video that just threw me for a loop. But I can't remember what it was. Not off the top of my head. I'll have to go back and review. But it was just like, dude, did you even watch the video? I mean, <laughs> I don't make these things to not watch them. I make them so that you watch them. I don't care what you have to say about it. I mean, I do care, but meaning if you're going to be a troll or you watch the video and say nothing about it, maybe you find something that was wrong, such as the F8 issue. I get it, okay? Ah! <laughs> F8 is better. Alright, I understand that. But, I didn't know. Okay? So, instead of pointing out just that, perhaps you could say, hey, that was awesome, or hey, that sucked. Don't say you should have used F8. It's, it, it makes me think that what I'm doing isn't good enough for you. Now, you're still going to watch, well, of course, because you like it. And I like that you watch. But please try to give me some feedback that I can work with. Not just, oh, I see epic mountains in the distance. Yeah, please give me some kind of feedback I can work with, like good, not good. Maybe that's what the thumbs up or the like button is for. And that way you can click that and then give your commentary. But I don't know. Something besides, you know, pointing out something that has absolutely nothing to do with the video would be nice. Just say it. And no, I'm not naming names because it wasn't any one person. But you guys like to troll me like that, so I troll back. And everyone has a good time. That's my rant about that. It used to really bother me, and I wanted to be like, you know what, I'm not making videos anymore. But that's childish. Alright, here comes the day. So now I can emerge. Oh my. Oh boy, they're everywhere. Ah! I'm dead. That wasn't even happening. Did you see how many mobs were out there? And what happened to my bed? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the water. Okay. Why did it say my bed was missing? Well, I'm glad that bug was fixed. Because I really don't have the patience for that anymore. So now all my crap is, is gone, even though it was, wasn't too much. Looks like we got some floating sand. But, I'm lost now. Don't you love this series? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, the sun is rising there. 
That means it's set there, and that's the direction that I went to get to where I was. And I don't remember the starting coordinates. So I hope that the game does remember. I'm just going to have to make a run for it and hope I stumble across something familiar. The advantage right now is that the day has just broke, so I've got a full ten minutes to figure this out. I just hope I'm going the right direction. If I find snow, I can uh, I can have a, a more confidence that I'm going the right way. Um, we're just hoping I come across something familiar, because I really wanted to explore what was out there. I know I probably should have waited. Oh yeah, I think I think I know where I am. This is uh, I believe this is an area that I found a few episodes ago that I was just like. Whoa. Let's go with that. Let's do that. So what, what else am I going to do, right? What else do I have to go off of? Alright, perhaps I can get out of this canyon. Maybe. Maybe not, you never know. I'm going to have to take some of these dirt blocks with me so I can pillar over the mountain here. That's one great thing about terrain editing. You get to pillar over the mountain. Don't do it in Pandora, though. I mean... I'm not saying you won't, but like I said, there's nothing out there. I designed it on purpose so that uh, you won't find anything of interest if you do that. All you'll find is, is nothingness. But anyway, where the heck am I? Well, this is a really cool place, but I don't think it is where I want to be. And that's that's a pretty far drop. I'm going to have to go around. No big deal. Yeah, wow, this place is just really cool. A lot of epic map going on. I am going to uh, release the seed for this also. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this oh. video, but soon. Is that where you can play it too? Hmm. Okay. So the sun continues to toil across the sky. And I continue. You got to admit, though, this is probably the best Minecraft has ever looked for me since I started the series. Um, but you notice it took a lot of trial and error to get it done. And with the update, once I do install the update after I uh, release Pandora, because I'm going to have to update to make sure it works with the update so you guys can play it. But... Um, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna play it on that too. It's supposed to be even further optimized for even better performance, so we're hoping that that is the case. Because I can't do anything about my CPU right now, and I can't afford a graphics card, so this is how it's gonna have to be. But you know, aside from the fact that I don't have the fancy on, which I think does look better with the transparencies and and the you know the better looking graphic uh, color scheme, this is what I got, and I like it. Yeah, totally, totally lost. Maybe. What's this over here? This overhang. I can't be that far from where I was because I've run into this problem before and it's just been a matter of traveling around and finding something familiar. That's that's really wild, man. Wow. The maps just keep getting awesomer. Holy moly. What the heck is this stuff now? This is like another Pandora type thing with the floating islands. Tell me this island is floating. I'll crap myself. Unbelievable. And that's not the same one I encountered before, is it? Huh. That's the biggest floating island I've ever seen since pre-alpha. Holy crap. Well, now I, I have to release the seed. <laughs> this will be a challenge for you guys. If I release the seed today... Can you find where this is? And you say yes, or if I'll just map it. Don't be a noob. Rough and tough it. I'm going to give you the coordinates anyway. 395, 84, 14. Now you don't have to do the stupid map. Oh, look at that little floater. That is impressive. I really like being able to find these epic maps. I don't plan this stuff. It just happens. So, yeah. 
Well, maybe this series has taken a dramatic turn, and I might have to start over. Might have to use that floating island area as my uh, beginning beginnings. I mean, hey, these things happen, right? Some of you are going to be really pissed off. But if you like the series and you're a true fan of MGI, you'll go with it. Because next week you're going to be playing Pandora. So you'll be missing episodes. You won't care what I do. But that's alright. I'm still going to do it. I'm not going anywhere. Every person on YouTube could unsubscribe to me and I wouldn't get any views for a year and I would still make these videos. Because I am that dedicated. But I do enjoy your company. So if you're going to stay, thank you. If you're going to leave, it was fun while it lasted. And I hope you check back for more Minecraft, because I'll be here. Oh, yeah. So let us do a little explore. I got some really nice epic trees around this thing, too. It's well, well hidden, but that is a massive floating island. It looks like it was two and one, and they, they were combined. There's another little... Whoa, zombie. There's another little one over there. And there's some massive overhang stuff going on here. I've got a nice desert to explore. Probably a dungeon around here somewhere. That'll technically be dungeon number seven. Uh, we got some coal right here. That's awesome. Bare spot. This is always good. Some exposed iron. This is a nice, nice area. Looks like another floater over there. I got a lake for water. And let's see, here's the forest now. So I'm not going to go that way. I want to stay within the confines of this new place. And uh, yeah, so I'll release the seed. You guys can load this up. It's going to be the original spawn, though. It's not going to be the new one. And it's not going to be where I'm standing. But you can play along and uh, build your universe with me. It'll be a good time. We've got a spider waiting for me. Hopefully when he gets into the light he becomes docile. Maybe. Who knows? You know I'm building an epic bridge between these two floating islands. Well, between this overhang and that floating island. <laughs> that is a guarantee! Come here, sheep. I need your wools. Gotta make a bed so this sort of thing doesn't happen again. I should have done that before, but I didn't. Where did other sheep go? Where is he? can't see him. There he is. Oh yeah. It's gonna be cool when I update too because all of this will be filled in with grass. And that'll be that'll be kinda cool. What's going on in here? Oh, it's a little cavern. Not going in there though. Actually I could make that a home, but I'm gonna need torches for that operation. So let's do a little fast crafting. Oh, that was smart. Good going, Thorv. You only needed one. If you want to make your working bench. And then we'll throw down some sticks. Turn the rest of these into planks. Throw down the workbench here. And then, uh, make myself a pick axe. With which to get the coal that's sitting over here. Just one for now. So I can make uh, a set of torches. The torches will light this uh, little area that I found. It's almost like a, a home that was waiting for me. I actually don't need the crafting table for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Troll face. We'll take the pack up the crafting table and take it with us. And pop down some torches so we can see what we're dealing with here. Wow, this is a really cool area. Nice. This is all set up for me and you if you play along. This is going to be the base, the home. So, wait, is there more this way? Maybe, but I need more torches for that. So, here we are. This is where MGI stands. And I'll put down my crafting table and make a little door before we go. And there we are. So now I've got access to my home. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah.